With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The maximum ordinate of a point on the graph of the function fx being equals to sin x1 plus cos x is we have to tell that which of the following option is correct. So let us see the function which you are given is fx being equals to sin x 1 plus cos x right now to find the maxima and minima we first have to find the value of f dash x right so product rule will be applied here right first the derivative of the the second product so sin x into your d by dx of 1 plus cos x which is your minus sin x then we write 1 plus cos x as it is into the derivative of sin x which is your cos x right so let us open the brackets you will get choice of cos square x plus cos x minus 1. Now let us find the value of f double dash x. Okay. So now f double dash x will be here. The derivative of this right which will give you minus of 4 sin x cos x and your sin x is cos x is minus sin x and then 1 is 0. The derivative of 1 is 0. So after taking minus of sin x common from this, you will get 4 of cos x plus 1. Now, so as to find maxima and minima You take your f dash x being equals to 0, right, which is equals to your 2 cos square x plus cos x minus 1 being equals to 0, right. So now, doing middle term splitting here, so you will get there 2 cos x minus 1. And cos x minus 1 being equals to 0 in your brackets. So twice of cos x minus 1 being equals to 0. And cos x minus 1 being equals to 0. This will give you the value of cos x as 1 by 2. And here the cos x as 1 minus 1. Right. So the value of x here from these two as you can see e pi or pi by 3 right and clearly if you can see that your f double dash pi is being equals to 0 right if I put here pi sin pi cos pi then it is 0 right sin pi cos pi 0 right so now Hence at we are going through this x is equals to pi by 3 function if this is 0 that means in this we have minimum value then in case of pi by 3 we are going to have maximum value right so it will attain maximum value which is your y max being equals to we're going to substitute it so sine pi by 3 in the function which we were given 1 plus cos pi by 3 so the value for your sine pi by 3 is root 3 by 2 and here 1 plus cos 3 by 2 will uh, cos pi by 3 will give you 3 by 2 right so this will give you 3 by root 3 by 
4 as your final answer. Now let us see which of the following option it matches. So option 2 is your correct answer. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.